Hi guys, welcome back to Takeaway Tuesdays. My name is Haley and most of you probably don't recognize my face and that is because I'm new to the YWCA as well as the YouTube platform. With that being said, I guess we can start out with a little bit of an introduction. Currently I'm serving with AmeriCorps, which is a federally based program that places its members in communities of need or with organizations that just need an extra hand. And luckily through that, I was placed with the YWCA Grow Power program. On a more personal note, I'm currently a student at UMD and studying political science. I have hopes to become a lawyer one day, but I also really enjoy service-based work, which is how I ended up in this position. A couple more things that I really enjoy is spending time with friends and family, hiking, coffee, and good art. And now that I'm filming Takeaway Tuesdays, I plan to give you guys activities and lessons that you can hopefully learn and grow with and take those same lessons and share it to those around you. And because I love coffee so much, I'm going to center each week's discussion around what I call coffee talks. So please, if you would like, grab your favorite drink, whether it's tea, coffee, juice, pop, or anything, and let's get started. My all-time favorite drink is from Dunkin' Donuts. It's just a iced vanilla latte, so that's what I'll be drinking with today's lesson, which is gratitude. The past few months have been especially difficult in many different ways, and whether you've been struggling personally or with those around you or with just the world in general, it is really hard to find things that you are thankful for. The definition of gratitude is the quality of being thankful or the act of giving or receiving kindness. Showing gratitude, big or small, is one really simple way to just remind yourself that even when life is tough, there are still some good things. I know for me personally, I've been trying to integrate gratitude more into my daily practice, because it has been a rough past few months and that simple reminder is just a great way to lift my spirits. So for today's activity we're going to make a drawing that incorporates all the things that we are grateful for and you will need a couple of supplies. You will just need two sheets of paper, writing utensils, it can be crayons, markers, colored pencils, anything you want to write with. Next we will take our first sheet of paper, set it down, and then find a writing utensil of your choice. And now we're going to start brainstorming things that we are thankful for, and these can be anything in your life that bring you joy. It can be people, places, moments, immaterial things, material things, anything that you would like. And I will do this right alongside with you guys. So after you've completed your list, you can keep it to the side, and I will share a couple of things that I'm thankful for, and that is, I'm really thankful for my family and friends, my education, coffee in the morning, art, my AmeriCorps position, the outdoors, I love Duluth, I'm very thankful for the beauty that it has, and lastly, conversation and the relationships that I have with everyone in my life. So the next step that we're going to do is take your second piece of paper, set it down, and grab another writing utensil, and then what you're going to do is draw a heart, whatever size you would like, on your sheet of paper. title it as well. I'm going to title mine Things I Love and then put um, my name on it. The next thing we are going to do is section off the heart so that each section in the heart can have a spot for the things on your list that you are thankful for. like you can section it however you would like big or small and then the next thing we're going to do is take colored pencils or markers or whatever that you have and then we're going to start shading in the heart You can take a darker writing utensil, I'm going to use a pen, and you can write in each section the things on your list. And once you have finished that, you have finished your super easy 
uh, gratitude craft. You can keep this in any place that will be safe or a place that will remind you every day or regularly or wherever you would like. If you would like to continue the practice of gratitude, it is really simple to start journaling or writing down on a piece of paper every day. You could either start or end your day with three really positive things or things that you are, gen or you are generally thankful for. In this way, the continued optimism and positive attitude will build on one another. Another option is to have a conversation with your family, friends, or loved ones about the things that they're thankful for, and you can either bond over that or just share a happy experience. It is so easy to be caught up in the negative things in life, so just taking this teeny tiny part of your day to reflect is one awesome way to kind of just decompress and reflect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay happy and healthy, and I'll see you guys next week for a little bit deeper of a topic.